Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are doing a grammar lesson. Pronouns. There are a few types of pronouns. We're going to have two. But before we start, let me tell you what is a pronoun. A pronoun is a word that used to take the place of a noun. For example, Jane wanted to go home. She wanted to go home. What happened? The pronoun she takes the place of the noun in the first sentence, which is Jane. And this is how it works. Do you understand? Okay, let's listen to this video. It will make it easier for you. Listen up, please. Sally baked cupcakes, Sally gave me one. Sally baked cupcakes, she gave me one. The pronoun she takes the place of the noun. Sally! Liz and Ray play tag, Liz and Ray had fun. Liz and Ray play tag, they had fun. The pronoun they takes the place of the noun. Okay, well, I should ask myself, why do we use pronouns? Actually, pronouns are, or most of pronouns are short words. We use them to make the sentence shorter and easier to say. For example, Sarah, Tom, Sarah and I were playing today. We were playing today. What happened? The pronoun we takes the place of Tom, Sarah, and I, and the sentence, the second sentence, became shorter and easier as well. What are today's pronouns? Subject pronouns and indefinite pronouns. We are going to focus more on subject pronouns. Let's start with subject pronouns. We divided subject pronouns into families. Singular Subject pronouns and plural subject pronouns. First member is I, and it's always written with a capital letter. He, she, it, plural, you, we, they. And I always say that you could be singular and plural. It belongs to both families. Singular family and plural family. Don't forget that. Let's watch this together. I refers to me. You to a person you talk to. He refers to a boy. She refers to a girl. It refers to a thing. We, a group of people including me. You, more than when, it's plural too. They, a group of people, or it could be a group of animals. To sum up, some subject pronouns, singular, like I, you, he, she, it. Plural, we, you, and they. Okay, here we have a quick exercise. Number one. It's raining again. It's raining again. Which 
one should I use? It is raining again or we is raining again. We is raining again doesn't make any sense to me. So the correct pronoun must be it. It is raining again. Number two, kicked the ball so hard that his shoe came off. Be careful. I said his shoe. So which one? Yeah, it should be he. We're talking about a boy. Number three, put ketchup on everything we eat. Yeah, which one? Yes, it is we. Good job. Now it's time to do indefinite pronouns, which seem kind of complicated, but they are not. Actually, they are words do not refer to a specific person, place, or thing. Again, do not, do not refer to a specific person, place, or thing. How do indefinite pronouns look like? Nobody, everything, anything, anybody, and anyone. We still have more indefinite pronouns, but those what mentioned inside your book. Now, let's listen to this video. The indefinite pronouns, buddy, anyone, anything, nobody, no one, nothing, everybody, everyone, everything, an important rule, if followed by a verb, It is always singular. Indefinite pronouns can also be used for possession with an S. Can you find indefinite pronouns? Has anybody ever told you that you are very smart? Anybody. If it had been anyone but you I would have agreed anyone I haven't eaten anything since yesterday anything there was nobody at home yesterday nobody no one I knew was at the party last night no one they did nothing about that problem nothing everybody dislikes bad winter weather Everybody. People will purchase everything they offer. Everything. Is everyone here now? Everyone. Anybody can prepare scrambled eggs. Anybody. Anyone can see you are happy. Huh? Come on. You don't know anything about me. Anything. Okay, well, here we have an example, comes from your book. A person can help add the shelter. Which one is correct? Anyone or everything. Anyone is used with people. Everything used with things. So, it will be anyone. Good job. And we are done for today. And see you next time.